you very much. And um, thank you guys for coming out once again. I really appreciate it. Nice to see you. Rex, nice to see you as well. Thank you very much. A very distinguished panel as well. Um, I wanted to come out as I have been every single night, every single day, all day long, and let you know, not that I'm just fighting for you, but let me just tell you where I came from and why I was late. One of the things I put together recently on your behalf was the Porter Ranch Community Advisory Committee, the Porter Ranch CAC. Now, I will tell you that this goes well beyond Porter Ranch. We've had complaints from as far as Chatsworth, Northridge, and Granada Hills. Apparently, this plume of toxic chemicals and whatever it might be doesn't know zip codes. <laughs> so it does keep moving into different locations and different places. So what I put together, one of the biggest failures, quite frankly, from my perspective, one of the many negligent failures on the gas company has been information and dissemination. Letting you know what's going on. Letting you know what's happening with all the experts that are sharing these symptoms. What you can do to improve and take care of yourself and your family. That's the most important thing to me is the safety of this community, of your family and your loved ones. That's the bottom line. I live in this community, I was born and raised here, my family lives here, and I care deeply about it. So the Porter Ranch CAC that we put together just has its first meeting tonight. In fact, it's ongoing right now. And it is compromised of you guys. And so what this community meeting does is they're gonna be meeting every single week, and I appointed to this, um, all the HOAs in this community were all uh, appointed to it, and they selected their representatives to sit on it. Both principals of both schools, Castle Bay, as well as Porter Ranch Community School, their principals were put on this, uh, as well as the superintendent of public instruction for the Northwest Valley was put on this. All four presidents of the neighborhood councils from Porter Ranch, Chatsworth, Northridge, and Granada Hills were all put on this committee as well. Uh, the president of Save Porter Ranch was put on this committee as well. And so I didn't select individual names and I didn't politicize it. I selected you to select them who were put on this committee. The gas company has agreed every single week without fail we'll sit down with them and share whatever information is asked. They will share all that information with you. This committee will have its own dedicated website. And so that's where I just came from. Um, with that, I wanna thank you guys for coming out and I will tell you this. There are a lot of people, particularly right now, this is, there's no good time for this to ever happen. There's no good time for this to ever happen. But it's also happening now during the holidays, which is even worse. I'm getting calls from friends and family members, from people that I've grown up with, and my daughters are best friends with, with all these same symptoms as well. Uh, and so I truly am concerned. And we don't know any long-term health effects, and we're asking for those studies. I'm not going to rattle off a long laundry list of all the things that I've been doing. You can follow that on your own in the press. But I will tell you this. This is a community that comes together. This, is, this community here is truly, and I hate to say this and put this in these terms, but has been the epicenter of disaster for many major disasters. From the Northridge earthquake to the Chatsworth train accident, I was, by the way, one of the first on scene there. From our annual fires, the Cessnon fires, where I was doing evacuations, I'm also a reserve LAPD officer out of Devonshire. I was up there pulling people out of their homes. I know what that's like. My wife and I lost our first home in a fire. I know what it's like to be displaced. This community, though, rebuilds stronger. It's my goal, and I won't sleep until it happens, until we're all safe and we're back in our homes in perpetuity, and this community is safe. Um, I will work tirelessly. You got my commitment on that. So with that, I just wanted to say thank you very, very much. Um, God bless you guys. I know it's going to be hard to even say this. Have a happy and healthy holiday season. Um, it's very hard to say that. A Merry Christmas. And so Merry Christmas to all of you. Happy New Year. I love you guys. Stay in there. Keep the fight going. Um, contact me anytime as you, many of you do, and um, we'll continue it. So let me, I'll, I'll ask the question for you. You're asking me the question. Let me just ask the question. Where's the governor? So I don't know where the governor is. Ultimately, he has not come out publicly at all with one word. This is the equivalent of the BP oil spill on land in, the, in a populated community, and we haven't heard 
word one from him. We've declared a national disaster here, a natural disaster in this community, and he hasn't done anything yet. Um, I will keep asking that every day. I've joined the marches. I've held the signs. I've sent the letters. I will keep doing that. This is also, so you know, this so you, so you know, this site isn't even in the city of Los Angeles. It's in the county unincorporated territory. I actually have no regulatory authority over it, but I have the bully pulpit, and I'll keep using it every single day. So with that, thank you so much for being here tonight, and thank you guys for